All right, so I wanted to do a quick video about uh, how to sign messages and how to send messages uh, that you encrypt because I was a little uh, unclear in my last video. So uh, first thing you're going to do to sign messages, you can just type a message. And whenever you sign something, I do recommend that you put, you know, the date and the reason for signing it. That way nobody can use that signed message as quote-unquote evidence that they are you. So if I, you know, if I made this message sign, you would just select your key to sign it and click the sign button and put in your password and that is the signed message uh, you would copy the entire thing but if I just left it at this with you know this is my message if for whatever reason somebody else uh, needed a signed message from me that just said that uh, that would somebody could copy this from a previous message I sent and give them uh, basically be able to uh, pretend to be me so what I always do is add some information concerning the exact date and the reason I'm making this signed message. That way, nobody can actually mimic me. So. So to make the sign message, once again, get the sign, and that is the exact uh, message that you would send. You would use that as the signed message. Now to send messages, or to send these messages, what you would do is you would copy everything from that window, and you would go to, say, your email. Well, actually, there's a couple of ways. One way would be to just save that and use it as a like a text file and send that. But I prefer to just copy the message, open it up in my email, and paste it in there, and then send that. That's the easiest way to send messages as far as I'm concerned. Um, there are other things you could do, but that is above and beyond the easiest. So hopefully that cleared things up for everyone who's asked me those questions. If not, uh, just send me a message. I'll go more into detail about it, uh, but this, I think, should be enough. So, thank you, and you have a great day.